We always have a destroyer or frigate in that area, and we now only have 19 destroyers and frigates. Horrifying figure, isn't it, for a nation like us? And so it's inevitable that Type 45s would end up being part of that rotation to go down there. Um, and I don't believe it's any more special than that. Now, the Argentinians might think, gosh, here comes an amazingly capable destroyer, probably the best in the world, and sort of say, gosh, this is ramping things up. But it's not ramping things up. However, I must say, when it's there, its ability with its Viper system, its anti-air warfare system, is so incredible that there's no way any aircraft from any country could get into that airfield without being taken out by its uh, system, missile systems. So in a sense, it is quite a strengthening of it, just by happenstance, because they are the new destroyers, they're replacing the old 42s, and they're so capable. There's no doubt that there's been a lot of silly rhetoric from the Argentine. They have been making the situation tense, so they have been applying effectively sanctions to the Falkland Islands for no real good reason. Um, I think it is quite right that we take uh, necessary act measures to make sure we defend the islands, because the difference between now and 1982, when actually the islands weren't well defended, um, is that we can't take them back, because getting rid of our Harrier aircraft and aircraft carriers means we can't do that. Therefore, we have to defend them well, or else it's game over. Even with the spending cuts, which I think were too severe and were, I think, incoherent, uh, and I think we ought to spend a little bit more on defence, but that's another issue, um, that we have got the capability of defending them. There's a large runway there. We can have fast jets on there. We can make sure we've got the right uh, other sorts of defences in the region. I say a Type 45, amazing air defence capability to look after that airfield. There are troops there. I mean, I hope that because the government now are being a bit more robust, uh, there is a history of the Foreign Office being a bit uh, lily-livered on this, you know, a hotbed of cold feet sometimes on this issue, um, that, uh, and they're being robust about that, that hopefully that within the MOD the right actions are being taken to make sure, yes, they can be defended well, and there's no reason, even allowing for the SDSR, that can't be done.